In example three, you're being asked to find the slope of a line through the points. Key piece of information here is the slope formula. Uh, different teachers, different textbooks deal with this in a different way a little bit. The thing to remember is that the numerator is always the change in the y values and the denominator is always the change in the x values. Uh, a lot of teachers and students like to do this. They label the first point x sub 1, y sub 1, and this one x sub 2 and y sub 2, and then it's a simple substitution and solve problem. y sub 2 minus y sub 1, negative 6 take away 7. And in the denominator, 8 take away a negative 2, or 8 plus 2, which gives us negative 13 over 10 as the slope of a line that goes through these two points. To example 4 for today, write in standard form of an equation um, a line with slope 3 and goes through the point 1, 5. First, let's talk about the standard form of an equation. Standard form of an equation, or a linear equation, is given by ax plus by is equal to c. And here are some conditions for, a, for the standard form of a linear equation. A, b, a, b, and c are integers. And A must be greater than or equal to zero. So our final answer should be in the standard form. We're going to start with this point slope formula. And the reason it's called point slope is because it is easily used if you are given a point and a slope of a line. I highlight the Y sub 1, the M, and the X sub 1 because those are the variables we're going to substitute the values I just highlighted in for. When we write this equation, substituting in the values, we'll get y minus the y value of the point, in this case 5, is equal to 3 times x minus the x value, which in this case is negative 1, so that'll give us x plus 1. Now we have to take this point slope form and put it into standard form. That means get the x's and the y's on the left of the equal sign, and the constant terms on the right. To do that, we will first distribute 3 on the right-hand side to give us 3x plus 3 on the right-hand side. At this point, we can do two things at the same time. We can subtract 3x from both sides. That will eliminate the x's from the right-hand side. And we can also add 5 to both sides, which gets the constant terms to the right-hand side leaving us the equivalent equation, negative 3x plus y is equal to 8. This is not quite in standard form because of this minus sign here. a has to be greater than or equal to 0, so we need to get this negative 3 and change it into a positive 3, and we accomplish that, or we do that, by multiplying the whole equation by negative 1. We distribute the negative 1 so that we get negative 1 times th negative 3x to get 3x, negative 1 times plus y to get minus y, and finally negative 1 times 8 to get negative 8. So, the standard form of an equation of a line would slope 3 through the point negative 5, 1, negative 1, comma 5, I should say, is 3x minus y is equal to negative Let's take a look at here, example 5. It says, write in point slope form of an equation, the line through 4, negative 3, and 5, negative 1. This is the point-slope form of a linear equation. The y sub 1, the x sub 1, and the m are going to be actual numbers that you're going to use. The y and the x are going to be the variables in the point-slope equation. To use the point slope equation, it, it, its name tells you exactly what you need to do. Uh, you need to have a, or need to have, you need to have a point and the slope. We have two points, but we don't have the slope. We did see in an earlier example how to find the slope. We use the slope formula. Uh, the slope is given or found by finding the change in the y values over the change in the x values. So in this case, we would go 
negative 3 take away negative 1, and we would go 4 take away 5. That should be a positive 4 there, and that would be negative 2 over negative 1, or that would simplify to 2. So the slope in this case, m, is 2. Using point slope, we're going to substitute one of the two points in, the y coordinate, negative 3, the x coordinate will go in for the x sub 1, and the slope that we just calculated, m, or 2, will go in for the m. The weird or funny thing about the point slope formula for these types of problems is since that we do have two different points, we can have two different answers. Typically, we use the first point to write the point slope form. So in this particular case, we'd have y minus a negative 3 is equal to 2 times the quantity x minus 4. That's one of the two answers. Or you could have the answer using the second point, y minus 5 is equal to the slope that we calculated 2 times the quantity x minus a negative 1. In this particular, in example 6, you were asked to find the slope of the equation negative 7x plus 2y is equal to 8. Uh, I like to put that, then, to do this problem, I like to put the equation into what's called slope-intercept form. We saw that form in an earlier example. And that gives us y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept, we need to be able to identify the slope. So I take the given equation, negative 7x plus 2y, and I need to put it into slope-intercept form. That in essence means I need to solve for y, so uh, add 7x to both sides, leaving 2y is equal to 7x plus 8 and then divide both sides by 2. y is equal to 7 halves x plus 4. So the slope in this particular problem is m is equal to 7 halves, or you could change that to the decimal number 3.5. Example 7, we're still working with linear equations. Write an equation of a line through this point, 5, negative 3, and perpendicular to y is equal to 4x plus 1. Just a side note here, uh, parallel lines, parallel lines have the same slope. And perpendicular lines have what's called a negative reciprocal slope. A negative reciprocal slope. So abbreviating here because I ran out of room. So what we need to do then is to first identify the slope of the given equation. So in this particular problem, we are given y is equal to 4x plus 1. We need to find a line that is perpendicular to this line. To do that, we need to find the negative reciprocal of this slope. Well, this slope is 4. That comes from the idea that this is in slope-intercept form, and the coefficient of the x term is the slope. Now, the slope that we're actually going to use is the negative reciprocal, or the opposite reciprocal. Well, the opposite of 4 is negative 4, and the reciprocal of 4 is 4 over 1. So the slope that we're going to use to find the equation of a line perpendicular is negative 1 over 4. The point that the line goes through is 5, negative 3. As I said in example 5, the point slope form of a linear equation is most likely what you're going to use for most problems when working with linears. y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times the quantity x minus x sub 1, where we substitute in negative 1 fourth for m, 5 for the x sub 1, and negative 3 for the y sub 1. So that gives us y minus a negative 3 is equal to negative 1 fourth times the quantity x minus 5. We could leave it like this 
because it doesn't ask us to put it in any particular form. But normally we end up putting things into either standard form or that slope intercept form. So to solve this equation for y, we need to distribute the negative one fourth, leaving us y plus three is equal to negative one fourth x plus five fourths. Then we would need to add three to both, or I'm sorry, not add three, but subtract three from both sides. minus one and three-fourths here. So the equation of a line perpendicular to the given equation that goes through the line point five comma negative three is negative four one-fourth x minus one and three-fourths.